happiness success family so you know i've gone back and forth my perception on this matter has changed over the years i must say i used to think that it's um incredibly important to be very much balanced all the time to make sure your neurotransmitters are working function properly to make sure you have clarity in your thoughts to make sure your synapses your neurons are firing appropriately you know i used to think that it's not good to be really focused and and obsessed with certain things what i've come to realize is that quite simply it's hard to always remain balanced and maybe sometimes it's inappropriate to remain balanced because addictions and, and obsessions can be wonderful things these these compulsions can that it, that's what you need to uh, essentially be incredibly successful in certain avenues in your life right so if you're going to have a great body and sustain a great body you have to be obsessed with it like everything many things you do on a daily basis is geared towards being that way so you have to be obsessed you know if you're going to launch a successful business that helps uh, millions of people around the world to, to feel a certain way and so on and so forth. You need to be obsessed. You need to be addicted. You need to put in some serious hours and hard work uh, towards making that um, uh, manifesting such brilliance, okay? And so I've changed my percep perception over the years and I now truly believe that what we need to do instead of uh, getting rid of all our addictions and obsessions is, is actually to kind of learn how to transition from bad um, addictions to good ones. So very briefly, what are some bad addictions? Well, we all know if, if things that lead to oxidative stress like um, uh, smoking cigarettes, taking illegal substances on a continual basis, uh, alcohol in itself, having a highly processed uh, sugary diet as well, um, having chronic stress, which is harms your brain cells and kills your neurons and so on and so forth. Like these are all bad addictions and you know betting and, and gambling uh these are always bad because it fuels negativity and, and most people let's be honest lose money in the long run sometimes a lot of money and and uh they condition themselves to think and feel certain ways every day by this addiction and so on and so forth. but we're not going to get into that in this video but these are just some bad addictions right having arguments being uh, finding yourself gravitating and uh, towards drama and chaos of some sorts um these are all negative um obsessions negative addictions i know this is subjective some people will disagree with me and that's absolutely fine and then you have some good addictions things like exercising on a daily basis uh, things like meditation and mindfulness things like working on your business things like um, supporting charities like these are beautiful wonderful addictions so essentially what i want you to take from this video is the significance of be, being addicted but choosing the right channels and what you have to understand is i know you're thinking you're right alex i do need to consider my lifestyle i've got a couple of bad addictions that i need to get past i'm, I'm being honest with myself i've got some problems here um because what is an addiction an obsession is always wanting to do that same thing again and and you cannot resist the urge to do something again whether it be um being uh, addicted to eating another donut whether it be being addicted to sex and porn, whether it be being uh, you know addicted to conflict or like I said earlier, illicit drugs and all these sorts of things, gambling, these are all addictions. And, and an addiction is something that where you feel like you just have to have that kick again. You have to experience that that surge of variety or or, or because what leads to an addiction? The addiction is knowing that you're gonna do something, right? So you have control in that department. For instance, I know I'm going to go out for a cigarette. Apologies if you're a smoker. Maybe I shouldn't be apologising. You need to hear this as well. It's not good for you. So it, you're, you might have control thinking, you know what, at my break time, every time I have a break at work, I go and have my cigarette. That's the control. What might add to variety was is what you might do when you are having a cigarette. Are you having a cigarette on your own? Are you having a cigarette with your peers? Are you having a, ci a cigarette while you go for a walk? Are you having a cigarette outside a cafe? Do you know what I mean? Uh, what are you What are you thinking about? What are you experiencing when you're having a cigarette? Are you having a drink with your cigarette? And these sort of uh, this adds variety to the experience. It makes it more exciting and more interesting. So, and sometimes people can feel connected and loved in, a, in, a, in an unusual way if they are smoking with peers, for instance. For instance, if you go on a smoke with your colleagues, that's a great chance to bond and to talk, and it gives you an excuse to, to stand next to each other and talk for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever you're doing. So there's that, that bond that you have with people you smoke with in this example. 
So these are the sorts of things that lead to an addiction. Certainty, variety as well, having some sort of uh, connection with someone or something, even if it is with yourself, maybe feeling significant, maybe your addiction can make you feel significant in certain ways as well. So I'll, I'll leave it there. I'll go into this extensively in other videos anyways. Um, but also what I'll need you to address is what leads to uh, that addiction. What's created that addiction, okay? So let's stick with the example of having a cigarette. So maybe you might be at work and maybe at work you experience a lot of stress. It's very volatile. You know, you're working with a lot of people. You've got a lot to get done. Uh, or maybe you're working with colleagues or your line manager. You don't like them and, and they, they uh, exacerbate your levels of stress and so on and so forth. So if you're experiencing stress and then at your break time is when you go for your cigarette, that's the sequence. Okay, it's I don't want you to just zoom in on the actual physical act of smoking. And this applies to all addictions. This is just an example, right? So when you're smoking, it's what happens before. What do you experience leading up to that bad act? Because that is the root of the problem, if you will. So the root of the problem in the example I've just given you is work. Maybe there's a colleague at work. Maybe you don't enjoy your job, in which case you might want to change your career path. You might want to change your job. You might want to think of different investments that you might want to utilize. You might want to make it explicit to your team that you don't get along with this person or that person or, or that they, you know, they're taking too much out of you at the job and they're just not being realistic about what you can accomplish. You need to address the root of the problem if you also want to change the problem of smoking, for example. So that's something that I want to, to do for you now to teach you that it's not just the physical act of whatever your addiction or obsession is. It's what leads up to that. It's the sequence of events. It's the feedback loop between what's happening in these different areas uh, that I need you to be accustomed to because that's like a meta program, if you will, of certain activities that you're used to doing on a daily or, or regular basis. And it's become so locked in and ingrained in you that you, your body knows how to do it better than your mind. You'll just find yourself going for a cigarette. And you didn't even have to really think about it. It's just what you're used to doing. And your, your, your unconscious loves familiarity. It doesn't love making you happy. It loves familiarity uh, because that, that's what supports survival and supports what's the known. And we, we tend to gravitate towards what's the known. So if you find this sort of uh, material beneficial, you might want to head on over to my website at www.alexgem.com. Simply click join PHS today. Enter your credit card details. You'll get instant access to my sensational revolutionary course to help you feel more empowered, to make you even happier, to make you even more successful in a plethora of different ways, whether it be successful with your relationships, uh, developing your own self-esteem, making more money, having an abundant growth mindset, steering clear of your self-sabotaging limiting beliefs, you know, changing your unconscious programs and your habits. Like this is unbelievable the bonuses are thrown in i can't wait for you to learn about the bonuses hours of exclusive podcasts videos audio segments like you're gonna be blown away by the price altogether it's it's actually worth one thousand two hundred dollars you're gonna be shocked by the price invest in yourself it's worth it guys there's nothing more important in the world than them becoming happier more it, feeling more in control of your life improving the maximizing your resourcefulness you've already got all the strengths needed to flourish and to live an abundant quality lifestyle it's just about bringing it out and i hope to play my part and help to do that for you as well so if you're watching this on youtube you might want to consider subscribing right now you might also want to click the notifications button so you get regular updates of my newest material i release seven videos every single week on youtube so it's worth subscribing uh, also, if you're checking this out on Instagram or Facebook and so on and so forth, you might want to click the link in my bio. That will take you to the, the page that I was telling you earlier about being able to learn about my course. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll be able to actually see what the, the system, the power system that I've got in place. And you'll be able to see the outline. So you know the journey, you know the map you're going to follow when you join us. And some of them, these are set for preview as well. So you'll actually get it for free. The worksheets, the videos, the audio segment, the written word, all together to help you learn best. Uh, so definitely it's worthwhile checking that stuff out and I cannot wait to work with you. If you are interested in fitness, become happier, healthier, stronger, you might want to check out my store, www.alexgemstore.com. Go explore, get what you need, grow, invest in yourself. This is how we get stronger together, guys. Okay, I cannot wait to work with you. I'll see you soon.